Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be reviewing a new product and this is the brand new Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Lip Blur Matte Meets Moisture Liquid Lipstick. You already know anytime a new Charlotte Tilbury product comes out, I'm like the first one to jump at the idea of getting it. So here we are. We're going to be reviewing this. I'm gonna read the details, see what it's all about. Then we're gonna try it out, see what it does. And then I'm gonna let you know if I think it's worth your money or not. So before we do get started, please make sure to give this a thumbs up for me and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Don't miss out on three videos a week and you're just really helping me out. You're growing the family, so thank you so much. But if you wanna see me review this new product, stay tuned for the rest of the video. All right guys, full disclosure, I got two shades of this, but I did like the same day or next day delivery thing through Sephora because I had a crazy busy day at work today and I knew I wasn't gonna have time to like stop over and grab it myself. So I did the delivery thing and they sent me an email saying that they were out of Pillow Talk, which is my favorite shade. So I was literally heartbroken when I saw that. I'm just gonna have to wait and grab it when it's back in stock or order it like online and just get it shipped regularly so that I have that one if I like this but I have nude blur, so it's a nude. It's probably gonna be similar, and at least this way we'll get an idea of what it looks like and what it feels like. I just wish I had like a couple colors to show you, so I apologize in advance for that. But we're gonna have fun today anyway, so it is fine. I have it pulled up on Sephora so we could read the details on this and see what it's all about. So it is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Matte Lip Blur Liquid Lipstick. That's a tongue twister. And I have Nude Blur, which is a true nude, but there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different shades that you could choose from. One of them being the iconic Pillow Talk, which again, I'm so sad that I couldn't get, but I am gonna get it if I like this one. So the highlights say vegan, liquid formula, matte finish, hyaluronic acid, hydrating, cruelty free. It says a matte meets, uh, oh my God, I cannot talk. A matte meets moisture liquid lipstick that smooths, blurs, and hydrates to create airbrushed looking lips. Who does not want that? First of all, it says formulation type, obviously liquid lipstick, benefits hydrating. And then it says this modern matte liquid lipstick blurs without drying, creasing, or settling into fine lines. Available in eight light as air shades, this formula is infused with hyaluronic acid that hydrates for up to 24 hours of comfortable wear. For a blurred look, use fingertips and press into the lips. For a bold look, use preci the precise diamond tip applicator and swipe directly onto the lips. Okay interesting let me see yeah it says for a blurred look swipe onto the lips from the center outwards and then lightly press using your fingertips to blend and blur the formula hugs the contours of the lips and diffuses for a modern matte finish for a bold look glide the diamond applicator across the lips for a dialed up flawless finish the angled tip mimics a lip brush for precision application. Oh, so it's basically saying you don't need a lip liner then, I'm assuming? I was like full on ready to use a lip liner with this. I have Iconic Nude, which I figured was like fitting because this is a true nude, but maybe we will like hold off on using this. Like maybe we should see what this looks like on its own first and then do like the lip uh, liner after so maybe let me try it both ways so maybe I'll do like the dab from the center out first so we can see like naturally what it looks like and then after that I'll like take it off with a makeup wipe and we can see like with the precision thing what it looks like with that so let me take it out of this packaging first of all a plus plus for packaging this I think is the same packaging that they used for the concealer, I wanna say, or it looks very similar, but I love it. It's like a frosted glass kind of, or not, is this glass? Yeah, it is glass. And then it's like this gold top. It's very, very Charlotte Tilbury. I love it. It just looks very luxurious. And this immediately is a darker nude than I was expecting it to be. Let me see 
Okay, so this applicator is definitely, it's like similar but different to what most like lip applicators look like. It's more like pointed towards the end. So that's actually really interesting. I'm like wondering if that'll make a difference in how it applies, but let me just put some on the back of my hand so we can see the color. This is actually really, really pretty. It's like a nude, but like a brownish too. So I don't know. I guess maybe it is a true nude, but I feel like it's a little bit darker than I would say like a true nude is. I feel like a true nude is like a light brown. So I don't know. I feel like I like these colors. I typically go more towards like the pinky nudes, but we'll see. Maybe I'll end up loving this. So let me like dab some in the center of my lips and then we're gonna like take my finger and just like blend around a little bit. That actually worked pretty nicely. Like you guys saw what I did. I just put like in the middle on the top and the bottom and then I just like tapped outwards with my finger and I feel like that did definitely like hug the contours of my lips. Like I feel like it's not bleeding. Like it's not bleeding outside the lines of my lips really. It's like staying where I want it to be but it looks really pretty. And it feels really good, you guys. Like, it literally feels like I'm wearing, like, a lipstick. It feels really, really nice. It's definitely, like, it dries on matte, but it doesn't look super, super matte. Like, you know how matte products tend to look very dry on your lips? That's not the case with this. I feel like it has, like, a soft kind of look to it. Like, it's really just pretty. The color, I feel like this kind of a uh, nude, I... Most likely for me, I wouldn't wear it just on its own like this. I feel like it almost looks a little bit like orangey on me. And I, I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like maybe it's washing me out a little bit. I don't know. I'm going to do this the other way, like the precision way that it said. And maybe afterwards I'll apply Iconic Nude just on the outer parts of my lip. And then we'll go from there and see what the best way to wear it is. But so far I'm super happy with it. So let me just take my lip product off right now and then we'll reapply the other way give me one second all right it is off of my lips and we are going to reapply with like the precision tip and we're not going to blend out with my fingers so let's do this and then we'll see what that looks like Okay, with a full face of makeup like what I have right now, I definitely prefer this method. I feel like for a very light makeup day or like a no makeup makeup day, the other method that I did first would have been better, but this is beautiful, you guys. Like this looks so nice and I absolutely love the design of the applicator because I feel like it literally doubled as a lip liner, just how pointy it is on the end. I felt like I was able to make like a really just like precise line throughout the corners of my lips and it was super easy. Like I felt like I wasn't struggling with it. Super quick, super easy and it looks amazing. Like I feel like I almost look like I'm wearing a lip liner. So it's really, really nice. And I feel like I like the color better when it's applied like this. Like I almost feel like the other way it kind of like muted it down and it gave it like a weird like orangey kind of tone and I feel like it looks less orangey when I did it like this. Maybe I'm crazy, let me know, but I don't know, that's my thought. But I really, really love how this looks and I'm obsessed with how it feels, you guys. Like it's so comfortable, which is I feel like the most important part. There's nothing worse than when like lipsticks feel like crusty and gross when you're wearing them. So I absolutely am obsessed with this. I feel like you don't need a lip liner, but I guess while we're here, we might as well just put a little bit of Iconic Nude and see what it looks like if they pair well together. So let's see. All right, if I'm being totally honest, I feel like that made no difference because the Lipstick itself is not like totally dried down on my lips like it still feels very creamy It's not like 
dry. Like it doesn't feel like liquid lipstick in the sense where it like dries right away and it's like super matte. Like to me it still feels like I have something on my lips, but in a good way, like very comfortable. But in turn, the lip liner itself wasn't like coming off as pigmented as I wanted it to. So I feel like with this, I'd probably go lip liner underneath if I really wanted to. And then this product, but you could totally go just this without any other product and it looks amazing. So I say yes. It is definitely worth it. It's super, super comfortable. Like I literally just like love the way that this feels on my lips and I wanna keep doing this because it just feels good. So I think it's totally worth it. I'm definitely gonna grab the Pillow Talk shade of this as well because I love this and Pillow Talk is my favorite shade in Charlotte Tilbury. So I definitely want that as well. So I'm in love and I recommend, but that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think though about how this turned out on me. Let me know if you like it, if you don't like it. Let me know what else you guys wanna see. Give this a big thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel, but stay tuned and I will see you guys in the next video.